Number one, you have so much to be proud of, and that's not something that we should minimize. You know, I just finished my doctorate, um, but I was taking a virtual program, and so there was nobody really to congratulate myself with. It was sort of like me and my computer, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So it wasn't, it wasn't quite the same as what you guys have. So please make sure to congratulate one another and to recognize the beauty of what you've done. Um, and to also realize that as much as this was mentioned before, as much as you've learned, there's so much more to learn. Because no training program can cover everything. And we also know how the world is changing so rapidly. So what was relevant in the year 2016 may become somewhat obsolete by who knows what date. Not that far down the road in certain cases. The leadership concepts, probably not. But the applications may become a little bit dated in the not too distant future. So it's really imperative to continue to learn. Don't just say, you know, look at your wall, whatever certificates and degrees are up there, I'm done. Right? A real leader knows that he or she is never done and that the learning has to continue. So keep investing, keep growing. Keep learning for new, looking for new opportunities. And by the way, you know, this will sound kind of corny, but when I do my work at Regimen few, a few days a week, maybe I need to do a little bit more, but I jump on the exercise bike, and after I've listened to my motivational music for the push-ups and the sit-ups and whatever else, when I get on the bike, all my kids know and they make fun of me. It's either TED Talks or listening to some, you know, uh, Tony Robbins or Brian Tracy or, you know, you name your speaker. I'm listening to that stuff as I'm on the bike. I probably don't get as many miles in because it's not as exciting as Rocky, but it still gives me constant ideas about how to grow my business, about how to be a better speaker, about how to engage with people, whatever the benefits are that that particular speaker is talking about. It's something as simple as putting a CD in your car as you're driving back and forth to work each day or getting an email subscription and invest in yourself and recognize that these little tidbits make the difference. And so keep investing in your learning. And I will also say, I hope that you've made some deep connections in this room. But it was interesting to me that when I was offered the opportunity, at this point already I had two master's degrees, but I was offered the opportunity to participate in a principal cohort that was going to bring principals together within the, in my case, the Jewish day school network from all around the country. And so we would participate in two years of training on and off throughout the year. I said to myself, is it really worth it? You know, I'm new to a school, I need to be there, can I take the time away? And am I gonna learn anything? I mean, I had two master's degrees, I thought I knew everything. So not only did I wind up learning quite a bit, but I actually made some meaningful connections. And those connections allowed me not only to have peer conversation throughout my time as head of school, but they served me really well after I left my position and I became a consultant because I had a variety of connections that ultimately helped me in, in so many ways. So you never know how those connections are gonna make a difference for you. And the leaders of the program actually said that we don't know how much you're gonna gain. I mean, they thought they'd gain a lot from the learning, but they said one of the benefits for sure is going to be the connections, the professional relationships that you've developed. So I encourage you to nurture them further Stay connected. I don't know what email lists you have, whatever else you do to, to keep it going, but those are great benefits.